guys, my name's Bethany and welcome to Wellness Path Witchcraft. On this channel, I talk about all things to do with spirituality, witchcraft, and wellness. Um, I put out new videos on Wednesdays and I'm so excited to um, be starting this channel and getting to know all of you guys. Today we'll be talking about my spiritual morning routine, what it looks like, and why I incorporate it into my daily practice and I believe you should too. So some of the major reasons I do a morning routine is it gets my day off to a great start. It helps elevate my mood. I used to wake up like 15 minutes before I had to leave for the day. And I woke up basically like as they say chasing the day. And so I would roll out of bed um, just after snoozing my alarm clock for multiple times. Uh, barely had time to get dressed and eat a proper breakfast. Um, I would stop for coffee on my way to work. Um, it's a very expensive habit and it really kind of put my day off like started my day off very pressured and rushed and kind of it really messed with my mood and just didn't give me time in the morning to get kind of clear-headed and just have time to like wake up and to just get the day started off on a good foot so um, now that I wake up uh, around 6 a.m. every day after eight hours of sleep, which is very important, so I have a bedtime that I stick to like almost like very religiously. Um, I do make some exceptions on the weekend, so I feel a lot calmer when I get to work, a lot more level-headed, a lot less stressed and rushed, and um, it really elevates my mood and raises my vibration. Not only does it elevate my mood, it helps me get my mind kind of going and it helps me be able to get in the right mindset to get to work and be productive um, like right off the bat. So I'm not getting to work and still kind of waking up and feeling groggy. I'm getting to work and being able to kind of hit the ground running. I also feel like Morning routines are a great way to incorporate self-care and self-love into your practice. And for me, self-care and self-love are very important uh, to my mental health as well as just feeling good and being able to take care of yourself. It's an amazing way to incorporate positive habits. One of the positive hab habits that I've always wanted to kind of incorporate into my daily life that I never felt like I had time um, for before was meditation. And obviously another one is exercise. Most people want to incorporate exercise into their life. And I feel like waking up early and having a practice in place that incorporates those daily is just not only is it making the time for those activities but it's also giving you something to look forward to in the morning another reason i incorporate a, a morning practice into my daily life is because it helps me raise my vibrations and get me into the right mindset that I am able to manifest things a lot easier and just gives me the kind of the spiritual time to ground myself and to go over my intentions for the day and really just give myself the time to kind of go inward and focus on my spiritual growth. Finally, the last reason I incorporate a morning practice into my daily routine is because it gives me a reason to wake up excited every day. Things that go into making my life better and helping with my general overall wellness. So one of the books that I've recently read that has helped shape my morning routine to what it is today is The Miracle Morning for Entrepreneurs. In that book, it obviously talks about morning routines and it specifically talks about a acronym that they use to describe what it is that they incorporate into their miracle morning. The acronym is Lifesavers. The word life is not an acronym, but the word savers stands for silence, affirmations, visualizations, exercise, reading, and scribing or scripting. It basically means writing. So my morning routine consists of those things as well as hydrating, coffee of course, and a healthy breakfast and showering because hygiene. First I wake up at 6 or 6.30 a.m. and get my day started. One of the first things I do is I try and drink water to hydrate. Gonna be fully transparent here. I don't always get my water intake in, but 
I give it a go. I give it a try. Next, I take my medication. I take medication every day for my mental health. And waking up early and having a routine allows me to remember to take my medication a lot easier. Next, I meditate. One of my favorite meditation apps is Headspace. It's a really calming meditation app. It's one of the apps I started with when I first kind of started incorporating meditation before I even had a morning practice when I was just kind of doing it um, during the day. And it's a great meditation app for beginner because it really kind of explains what the practice is, what it's about, the reasoning behind meditation, and also how to incorporate the practices within your meditation. Next, I do affirmations. Before reading the Morning Miracle book, I used to just do kind of personal affirmations based on just um, improving my vibrations and elevating my mood, raising my confidence. Um, now I do a little bit more of goal-oriented affirmations, but I still like to incorporate the personal vibrations sometimes. Next, I do visualizations. For this practice, it's kind of similar to my meditation, except I'm sitting, I usually sit in a comfortable seat and close my eyes and just kind of visualize myself um, either achieving my goals or in the practice of taking the steps to achieve my goals. After that, I do exercise. One of my favorite exercise routines is Kundalini Yoga. Kundalini Yoga incorporates a lot of breath work and so it's not very cardiovascular exercise it'll get your heart pumping and it often will break a sweat but it's really good it gives you a lot of endorphins and elevates your mood and really kind of centers yourself and grounds yourself and really raises your vibrations if i don't do kundalini yoga i'll often do regular yoga or even blog after that i journal and journaling for me usually consists of writing a list of what I'm grateful for that morning and setting the intentions for the day. My intentions can be basic goals, tasks or errands that I have to do that day, or things that I would like to do for fun. After journaling, I usually make myself a breakfast, which these days often consists of a smoothie made of fresh fruits that I have at my disposal and get my coffee made for the day. Next, I shower often while listening to more affirmations. I really like Lior Alexandra's affirmation videos. And so I'll listen to those while I shower and get ready. Um, at the end of my shower, I usually rinse off with cold water. Um, I've heard it has a lot of beneficial aspects and it really, for me, just kind of gets my blood pumping and really energizes me. And then after that, I get dressed and get ready and head to work. I usually incorporate my reading by listening to an audiobook during my commute. I feel like it's a great use of my commute and I also feel like it kind of saves a little bit of time on my morning routine in the morning so that I don't have to kind of sit and actually physically read a book while I'm getting ready for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have a morning routine and what it looks like down in the comments, what you think of my morning routine, and whether or not you think you're gonna incorporate a morning routine into your daily life after watching this video. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out videos every Wednesday about wellness, witchcraft, and spirituality. If that's something that's interesting to you, please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I make a new video so you won't miss out. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. I feel like I'm cringeworthy.